Hello everyone, here we got a transformer and an adapter and even though they both have an output of 12 volts, their electrical currents are different. The transformer has an output current of AC, sort for alternating current. This is actually the same current my amplifier produces except that this is a constant tone of 60 Hertz. And the adapter's output current is DC, short for direct current. This is the electrical current produced by batteries, including the one inside your cell phone. And today, we're going to be determining which electrical current is best for blowouts. And the test subject are these cheap Maxell earbuds. So, we'll start off with 12 volts AC. Here we go with 12 volts AC in 3, 2, 1. The coil went all the way out, and then it snapped. And there was a puff of smoke, which was pretty cool. Now let's see what DC current can do. In three, two, one. That was pretty neat. The coil flipped all the way around, and we got the same amount of smoke. Now the results from our experiment. With AC current, the coil jerked back, smoked for a few seconds before snapping off with a blue spark. However, with 12 volts DC, the coil melted through the mylar cone, and then twisted around. And let's compare the results of this experiment to dynamic horns. When I fried a dynamic horn with 12 volts AC, it smoked for a bit before sparking. Oh! However, with 12 volts DC, it gave a small amount of smoke before a tiny spark. In conclusion, AC current works the best if you want a good reaction. Also to mention, I once had an earbud speaker catch on fire with AC current. However, DC current also gives a pretty interesting reaction. Although you won't get the sparks or fire AC current provides. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and have a great day.